the book puts forward is that Palestine is not going to be liberated in isolation. And I think that's what the previous three speakers have also alluded to. Um, but I actually want to start by taking us to the Middle East for a second and just debunking, I think, a common assumption that um, it's only now that people are asserting socialism in Palestine um, in the same in the same conversation. That in fact, there's like a very rich tradition um, of uh, Marxism and of socialism in the Middle East that spans decades. Um, and that's sort of what the book uh, is based on and is, is trying to bring to light. That said, of course, there's a lot of lessons that we should learn and take from, <laughs> there it is, um, that we need to take from and learn from uh, th these previous movements for liberation that the often posited um, socialist and communist ideas because clearly they didn't work and they had many, many faults that it exists. Um, and so what we're doing now is just building on that. And I think one of the, the main things about that that I <clears throat> really wanna drive home um, is that our goal for Palestinian liberation is not simply to, to get rid of the occupation. It's much more than that. It's about envisioning what kind of free Palestine we want to build. Well, in the same way that here in the US, that's what we're doing when we're talking about a new world, when we're talking about defeating capitalism and US empire. And so when we think about what, what new type of vision um, we want to posit, 